I can't even see that, and it's something I feel like I can't even read. I might look. <laughs> Just oh, oh shit. What's good, Sly Cruise, your boy Sly? I hope you're having a lit day today. Today we're finna jump into a game called Assessment Examination. Now, it seemed like it was like one of them other analog horrors like Maple County and um Mandela Invasion. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Without further ado, go ahead. I'm stalling. All right, so we're going to be jumping straight into assessment examination, bro. It popped up. It looked like all them other analog cores I played with a little with a little survey twist to it. And you know I like that type of stuff, so let's play it. Let's get creeped out. Examination will now begin. Hello, friend. Thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. All of us here at are very happy to have you if you get the job that is today we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario but okay. before that some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring please take a sit and await further instruction okay hit the like button while we uh, await further oh did you hear about this position Word of mouth, a newspaper, a dream. Word of mouth, bro. Word of mouth. Do you have any professional experience in this area? <clears throat> Not at all, sir. Do you have any personal experience in this area? Hell yeah, I know everything here. Do you believe in God? Can I click maybe? Sure, you know, sure, yeah, sure. Do you fear death? No, sir. We all die someday. Do you fear God? Sadly, I don't fear nobody. Do you have people you love in your life? Yeah, of course. Do you fear losing them? Yeah, of course. What the fuck is this? Lunch number? Yeah. In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats you should stay away from. Please be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Okay, so this is a real test. Okay, let me add them. Who the fuck is that? Uh, I trust them, sure, yeah. Uh-uh, nope. I don't trust nobody who get their face twisted up in a filter. No. Trust or threat? I don't know, she kind of fire. She might be a threat. But, but you look too good to be a threat right now. What am I looking at? Okay, kids. Going on a walk with father. Broccoli in the sky. Like, it says who? What'd that say? What do I do? Who what? Who was talking? What'd it say? Who is that? Uh. He kind of a threat. His eyes low. He might be on something other than weed. So. Call him a threat. No, we need to trust him. Trust him. Ooh. 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 I don't know. Somebody, somebody, somebody stretched out your eyes with the filter, I think. You're a threat. Bro, I don't even know. I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like I'm picking all these wrong. But sure, I trust you, sir. Nope. 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 I mean, trust can't be a threat, right? Can't even see. I trust you. I trust you. Do I? 
or do I not? Do I or do I not? I trust you. Take three tablets by mouth nightly. Of what? Is it Pam? I can't even see what that say. Abraham Wallace. Five milligram tablet. Take it, pop it. Oh. He looked like a snake. Why did I say that? I don't know, bro. I trust everybody, bro. Ain't nobody. I'm not seeing. You can't just say you don't trust somebody by their picture. Like, trust. Sure, sure. Nope. You got your hair over one eye. You're crazy. Uh, you're a threat. School threat at that. Francisco Estrada, 19, victim 2. Police department. What's your emergency? Yeah, hi. I'm at Dory Park at a gas station. Actually, in a corner of Dory Park. I think there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. It's just he's outside. And the door, it looks locked. So, and the door is locked. So I can't tell. He's asking for help. He's asking for help though. So I don't know if I can, if I can hear. I don't know if I can hear, but he's asking me to help him. I can barely see this y'all. Yeah. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh. I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But, but, and this is going to sound like crazy to you. Just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. His face. His face, you know, he had this look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what. Something I'm terrified of. Fuck. I don't know. Man, but something's off about that kid. Like, real off. Get your ass over here, officer, and do something about this crazy kid with blood on him, sir. You're going to let this kid bleed out because he feels off? Yep. That's your job. I'm not an ambulance. I'm a manager. No, that's not what I'm saying. He's he's not dying. I don't think. He just didn't look right. Is all. Like he just like he like he just died himself. But he hasn't obviously. Like a ghost, or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I've been drinking a little bit. Oh, is that your way of telling the officer you want some shit before he get there that you intoxicated in there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. But you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. Why am I reading this like a girl? Why not? You know, it says Francisco, you know. Might be a boy. Might be a girl. Who knows? Officer. He must be pale because of blood loss. Poor kid. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight. And not because he drank one too many cheap beers. Okay, okay, I'm right. Okay, I'm right. Is he still there? How does he look? Uh, yeah. He's... I don't know. I'm like crouching under the counter. So I can't even see what he's doing. It's fucking creepy. Hmm. Okay, well, the ambulance is still... The ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away. And that kid cannot be doing well. So I need you to no nigga. I need you to assist him. You do it. Oh fuck that. No fucking way. No. You didn't see that little fucker. He's not normal. You know refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Okay, so it is a it is a dude. <clears throat> got you a new voice. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Is is that what this is? Of course. Fuck, fuck. Okay. 
I'll go check on him then. I got you. I thought you was a girl for a minute, you know? Thank you. I'll stay on the line. What? I can't even see that, and there's something I feel like I can't even read. I might look. <laughs> Just, oh, oh shit. Is that him? I took these headphones out quick. But who's that? You're a threat, sir. Yep, y'all all threats. Y'all all threats. Y'all all threats. He looked bad as shit, but I trust your bad ass. Who's that? You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted in the you will receive a letter on I don't, I don't want your letter. I don't want your letter. I don't even want to be here. How I passed the test? I didn't even know. I didn't even know what was happening. How did I pass your test? You're lying to me. You're lying to me. Oh, you gonna play me a mixtape? She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open. And when she went into the room, she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today. And at other times I like being with grandmother so much. She called out, good morning, but received no answer. So she went to the bed and drew back the curtains. There lay her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face, and looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my child. What's going on? Replied, but, grandmother, what big eyes you have. She said, all the better to see you with, my dear. I mean, I don't know what you're saying, you sir. The music is a hell of loud. You have. All the better to hug you with. Oh. But, grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. You have failed me. I can't escape imprisonment. I thought I passed. I am surrounded by nothing but lies and sand and suffering. I can hear him laughing in my Okay. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside. Lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, hope them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. That's the end of your examination. But I don't want to work there. I was just, yeah. Hey, Jerry, I don't want to work there, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, I don't want to work there, sir. I don't. I took your test just because. Hey, Jerry, if that letter showed up to my door, look. Don't want to work there. <laughs>